Hey guys, so a couple days ago I did my water test of the Google Pixel and the results are pretty good. It survived a half hour underwater, survived a puddle, survived being sprayed on. It was pretty good and people were wondering how's it doing after a couple of days and as I promised I would, here is the update video. So first we can test out the microphone. Okay Google, what time is it? The time is 10.51 a.m. So you can see we can test out the microphone and the speaker. Go ahead and test out the fingerprint scanner now. You can see it unlocked. Uh, the headphone jack is working, I can verify that. And the charging port is working as well. And the earpiece up top is fine. So everything looks to be working pretty much perfectly fine. And then we'll go ahead and test out the camera. And yeah, you can see the camera is messed up. A lot of moisture and condensation and water got inside the camera and it screwed it up. It was kind of sad, but I'm not satisfied with letting that sit there and call it a day. I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to take apart the Google Pixel. I'm going to try to get the condensation and the water out of it, put it back together, and see if we can fix it. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to take apart your Google Pixel, and we're going to try to fix it, and we're going to see if it works. So you will only need a few tools for this process. A suction cup, a hair dryer or heat gun, just some heat source, a guitar pick or anything thin like it, and a Torx T5 screwdriver, and that's all you'll absolutely need. I also have my Swiss Army knife for the utility of it and any type of extra tools I might need. And if you need anything that I have, I'll leave them linked in the description of this video. The first step is to remove the display from the pixel. Heat the edges with your hair dryer or heat gun, which will loosen up the adhesive, the glue, uh, and use the suction cup to elevate the display a little bit. Then you'll utilize the pick to slowly and carefully pry up the display, breaking the glue bonds. You'll probably have to continue applying heat as you go, but carefully work the pick around the display, prying it up gently, and you'll eventually get to the point where you can pull it off. When the display is up, use a suction cup in your hands to remove the display entirely from the frame. Then you'll use the Torx T5 screwdriver for the first time, unscrewing the two screws, removing it from the metal connector, and unlodging the connector with a spudger, the pick, or your nail. Just be careful with it, and you'll be fine. It's not a hard process. Next, you'll have eight more T5 screws to undo around the perimeter of the foam. The next part is a bit trickier, but still doable. When those are up, you'll want to utilize the small notches in the bottom corner to slightly pry up the next layer. You'll have to get a system going of lifting and prying, lifting and prying, using the pick to work around the device. Be careful and take your time, and you'll have to break more glue seals here, but I wouldn't recommend using any heat at this step with so many internals exposed. There's no definite method here, but you'll have to use a little bit more force than with the display. Continue working around the device, kind of wedging it up. Just be careful and take your time, and you'll have to use a little bit of force here, but it's not a terribly, terribly hard process. When that's up, you've gotten to the final level. Congrats. So here everything is exposed. You can see I definitely exposed the water damage seal of the phone as shown here in the red. So that's not good, but to be expected. And the inside of the device appears to be slightly corroded uh, as well. It doesn't look too pretty. The battery is big in front and center, and as you can see, it's made by HTC. I'd recommend unplugging that if you plan on tinkering with anything inside the device. The camera module, which is what I'll be looking at, is at the top right, while the front-facing camera is to the left of that, and the headphone jack is in the middle. So my method here to kind of clean the water damage and the moisture around the camera is to undo the camera module and take a brand new microfiber cleaning cloth and dry any liquid and moisture that is inside the unit, which you can see definitely exists. I also took a cleaning sticker, wrapped it around the screwdriver, and attempted to clean up any of the pesky dirt, and I also utilized an air blower to do the same thing. When I was satisfied with the results, I put the camera module back in and reversed the steps. So make sure everything is aligned correctly, flush and pushed in, and redo the screws. Attach the LCD back onto the connector, redo the two screws, and finally put the display back on. You'll need to apply more heat around the edges to loosen the glue and allow the display to re-adhere. Put some really firm pressure on the display until you're satisfied it's all the way in. You'll have to use a lot of heat and a lot of pressure here, and just take your time and make sure that it's good. And finally, cross your fingers and turn the power back on, and you should be good. Voila. All right, so you can see that this is successful. When I put it back together, the condensation is gone and is working much better. So there's two things to take out of this. One, Google Pixel can survive some light water, but if you get it wet, it might not survive. But you don't have to lose all hope because it still could do okay with a little bit of water. So it's not super water resistant. It can compete with the galaxies and the iPhones out there. 
but it is better than you might think in terms of water resistance. And two, if you ever need to take apart your Google Pixel, if you get it water damage, if you need to re replace an internal, it's not too bad. It's not too hard to replace it. As long as you're careful, it's not a bad process, and it's pretty easy to get inside of here. So this has been a pretty interesting uh, couple of days with this, breaking it, fixing it, and the water test in general. If you appreciated the work I've been doing with this, I've been working on this specific video for 12 hours straight, let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave in the comments if you appreciate me risking my phone again. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out my other Google Pixel videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.